Yeah, one, two. Hello, welcome to... You have a swap for the blue That's the blue That's not straight, is it, Sarah? No. That, that's it. The cupboards aren't straight. Oh, are we still on? Are, right. we, are we rolling? <laughs> welcome to Quick Food for Carers. Hello, I'm Nick Pandolfi, and this is Chef Jeremy Wick. Nothing more than Jeremy and I myself enjoy than a really good sausage treat. And that's what we have today. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, so we're going to do some, we're going to take some puff pastry and some bacon and some sausages. And we're going to make a little snack. So these snacks you can prepare and put them in the freezer. Uh, and then just bring them out, put them in the fridge and then bake them off in the morning. It's also, it's good food on the run. Uh, it's going to be a little, you've probably seen them in the supermarket, etc. But it's so easy to make. You can make yourself a fair few for not a lot of money. And then you can keep them in the freezer and pull them out when you need them. So what we're going to need for this one is we're going to need some puff pastry. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the just roll, but you can get whichever brand uh, you choose in the supermarket. We've already gone ahead and rolled them out quite thinly. Just makes it easier to handle, etc. We've got some streaky bacon. That's and, got uh, the most flavour in. And these are your fake. Well, well, these are. If there's anyone from Richmond sausage. Here, all over Jeremy. Richmond sausages, um, I get lambasted here and everywhere because I absolutely love Richmond sausages. They're Britain's best selling sausage, apparently. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised because they are phenomenal. Um, so, so, we're going to use these uh, and then we're going to make them in the puff pastry. Very quick and easy to do. For a bit of balance, I don't like them. So, there you are. If any other sausage manufacturers watching, it's all right. Jeremy loves them. We're not He's the, BBC. the chef. We're not the BBC. We're all right. That's no, fair we, enough. We yeah, don't okay. have to. A bit uh, of balance. A little bit of balance. We don't have to tolerate for those. So, Nick, do you want to do these with me? Yes, absolutely. So there's a square for you. Well, that's a little bit warm still. We'll go on this one. It's a little okay. bit cool. So this is a bit generation game, this. Yeah. Do you want to do all three? No, I don't think I can dare. I don't want okay. to case myself for later, Jeremy. Well, if you do one of each, and then I'll do the mix. Okay. okay. Am I taking a sausage now? <laughs> yes, you wish. I would just uh, give it a little flatten out. Oh. You can cut them in half. You can cook them beforehand if you want to do, but we're going we're gonna to put them in the oven so you'll be able to cook them from raw. So take your sausage. Yes. It's so if you if you imagine if you go it's, it's if you go corner to corner so it's slightly offset and you can put your sausage down the middle okay sausage yeah. is put to bed there he is and then you want to do the same with the bacon you can fold the bacon over if you like and i'm doing that am i covering it am i putting a blanket over my sausage no that's my job okay we're doing a bacon one on its own oh i see just a Remember bacon we turned it at yes. an angle so you get it right oh yes of course absolutely yeah it's just the easiest way otherwise you get it slightly off kilter yeah and i'll do a i'll do a 50-50. So there's a bit of both. Yeah. A bit of sausage so, and a bit of bacon. As it, as it were, yes. So I'm going to just flatten them out slightly, making it easier. So would you like cheese in yours? I, I love. You've got to have a bit of cheese Normally in you would here. wash your hands if you're going to mix things in, but they're all going to be baked uh, and, and cooked, so we'll be okay for the hygiene. Do you have a bit so, of cheddar here? Yeah, that's just plain normal cheddar. Cheese and bacon does work though, doesn't it? It does. We, um, we, have, we have the, uh, the cafe. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people come in and ask for cheese and bacon baguettes. Uh, and cheese and sausage baguettes, which was a newbie on me until I tried it, but they are quite tasty. Cool. There's someone's phone going somewhere. They ought to get that. Can you hear that, Jeremy? No, that's the, uh, the shop door when people come to the shop next door. Oh, sorry. Shop! There you are. Little... Could I have some cheese as well? Oh, yeah, you'd like some? Of course you can. Thank you. Your cheese, Jeremy. You do with it what you will. So we're going to... You've been a bit sparse, haven't you? You're not really like cheese. Well, I just thought... You're I was going to ask that. Being polite. Well, no, I was thinking, because when it melts, will it not ooze all out? I know you want a bit of ooze. Well, we're going to wrap it, aren't we? So if you've got a vegetarian, we can do, you can do some mushrooms with it. Mushrooms and cheese go really well. You can put some courgettes in there if you want um, and do the same thing. So there's plenty of options. Okay. If you see, there's a little bit of paper, paper that we've rolled it onto to make it slightly easier. Mm-hmm. One of the um, high street bakers that sort of rhymes with um, regs, they do these, and they, whenever you're in the queue at regs, regs the bakers, they, um, what's so funny about regs the bakers? I'm not, I'm not going to mention Greg's. Oh, anyway, they sell loads of these, Jeremy. Yeah, I do, and, they're, and they're not cheap, are they? No, well, no, indeed, no, no. So I'm going to pass one over like that, yes. and I'm going to pass that one over like that. Do you remember what I said about the pa paper on it? Oh, is this, oh, there's still paper, isn't there? That, well, that could be a choking hazard, couldn't there? <laughs> you want to be careful. What? If you've got paper on your pastry, I just did that. I knew it was there. 
but I was just doing that to test you at home. It's also the other post you won't stick to it, will it? Yeah. So you want to give it a little pat down? Yeah, good boy, good boy. Now you can egg wash these if you want to put a little bit of egg yolk, a little bit of milk on top, a little bit of seasoning. So if you want to put a little bit of paprika on there or some, some other cheese on top if you want. You said, did you say paprika? Paprika. Paprika. Yeah. I've is that always, like paprika, is it? No, I've always got that wrong. Yeah, well, you might, I might be the one wrong, not you, Nick. Paprika, paprika. Mm. Yeah. It's like, it's like the tartar for tartar. Oh, or Spanish omelette. Or tomato. Tomato, tomato. Right, have so you, there we are. One, have two, you got three. Egg wash, please, Chloe. Some egg wash, please, Chloe. Talk amongst yourself. We'll be all right in a minute. Oh, Gav might have some egg wash. Gav's got some. No, we won't be using custard. We're not going <laughs> to egg wash with custard. We'll cut this bit out, won't we, Simon? No, we won't. We're just going to carry on regardless. We need to find, we need to find a, a, a brush first, Nick. A brush, so we're going to baste, basically we baste got, our little parcels yeah. so they seal. So this is like our, our sticky tape, our glue, to make sure that when we put it in the post, it doesn't all open in the oven. Yep, yeah, so we've got our egg. Thank you, Chloe. So we're going to a little bit, put a little bit of egg. Also makes it nice and shiny on top. And also what it does, it seals the pastry so it doesn't tend to go soggy. So we've got a little bit of... So do you want to give it a little, a little brush up? Are you doing the seams as well? Well, you can do, yeah. I mean, it helps it seal as well. I'm just... I just to me, it just makes it nice and like glossy and also gives yeah. a little crunch to the pastry. So it'll come out like a nice sort of golden yeah. croissant, that sort of colour. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So is this one of your sort of munchies? Would this be, because it's got a sausage in and therefore instantly goes to the top of your table for a... Richmond sausage, I am. Yeah. Though. And again, if you want to put some herbs on top, etc., you can. Do you know that one of the... Well, I think one of the best things I've got at home in the freezer that's saved many a day, but a frozen parsley. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it comes, in, it comes yeah. in a little tub, and it's really handy I, if you want to. IQF, out. instantly quick frozen. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really good. Ignore that. That didn't happen. So we have them, so we're going to pop them in the oven, uh, 180. So as soon as they're golden brown and risen, everything will be good. Um, what I tend to do is you'll see when we take them out, and we lift them up and see that the bottom's not translucent, it's brown. So we pop these in the oven, and we'll be back in a in a little while. And I'm going to go and find some blue tech. New blue tech. <laughs> Strapped to a board. Yeah. Well, here we are. We've been waiting for something very special to come out of uh, the oven here at Ice in Bury St Edmunds, and uh, that is our snack slices. Yeah, so obviously you saw earlier where we made them with the, uh, the bacon, the cheese, and we folded the puff pastry over. Well, they've been cooking uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to pull them out and uh, we'll have a look what they look like. Excellent. Okay. Because these would be ideal, wouldn't they, Jeremy? If, uh, if, you, if you're caring for a kid and the kids get home, but there is something ready for them because they're starving, hungry, and you haven't got that much time. Pre-made these and they're ready as soon as they get home. Yeah, absolutely. So, so they, you, you can bake them in the oven, take them out, and they're cooling while you go and pick them up from school, etc. The great thing is they can go on lunch packets the next day. You can cut them smaller and use them for little snacks if they're uh, watching a film, etc. Uh, great to carry around with you and, and just, as I said, there's a lot of pastry in there, there's carbohydrate in there, there's protein in there and they're really, really tasty. So you can put a bit of hot dog sausage in there, for example? Yep, so if you just want to... Um, any veg if, you've got, you know, if you're vegetarians, you can do vegetarians, you can use... Uh... Yeah, but it's beautiful, but that's the, that's the egg glaze. Yeah, looks good, uh, it? And again, you can put uh, more cheese over if you want, you can make them super cheesy. Um, but what we'll do is we'll give one a cut and then uh, we'll see. Are you going for the sausage one or the bacon? So we did bacon and cheese and we did sausage and cheese, you'll remember. Uh, recipe, of course, is online, Family Carers Net. Check us out on Facebook as well, please. Give us a like. It'd be nice to hear from you. And send us a message as well. So if you've got a really good food hack, we'd like to hear that either on Twitter, Facebook, uh, or send it via the website too. So this is the bacon one here. If you'd like to try this one. Absolutely. And this is the sausage do. one here. And then we have a, a mix of the two. Ah. They're a little bit warm, so they've just come out of yeah. the oven, so... Mm. If you're looking for something in the middle of the night, you've had a really rough, long day. These are ideal, really good. You can eat them cold again if you want to, but uh, fresh out of the oven, you can't beat them. Puff pastry is good, isn't it? Makes a yeah. mess. It's worth you wear it. it. Wear it more than wear you it. eat it. But yeah. <laughs> there is that. It's Recipe good. online. If you want to check out more, um, you can find it at Family Carers Net. Mm. Biting into these, these are good.